I'm not really quite sure that this is the park that I was supposed to come to today. I'm a, I'm a little confused as to where I'm at right now. What's going on everyone? And this is not Disney World, right? This is, uh, this is Universal. I've not been here in over a year. And we, uh, I'm here with Jason and we just rode Green Gods. And uh, what a great ride it is. I mean, it's, it's a totally different type of coaster than what Disney World has, but uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot has changed since I've been here too. I'm sure a lot of you probably already know this, but rental lockers, for example, has totally changed. All you have to do is scan your card, no fingerprints, no remembering where it's at. It literally just, you scan your annual pass or your park ticket, opens a door, throw your stuff in, close it. You don't even have to remember anything. It's phenomenal. But we're here today and I think we're just gonna try and ride some rides and shoot some B-roll and have fun. I have like, no tips for you because I haven't been here in forever. So today is going to be as much of a learning experience as it may be for you. I don't know. We're gonna just see what happens. But uh, welcome to Diagon Out. One thing about being an annual pass holder, and depending on the level that you have, you can actually get into the park like an hour before normal people, I guess. One funny thing is though, is that only, the only thing that was like basically open over here was uh, Diagon Alley and Green Guts. So that's all we did. And while Diagon Alley is probably one of the most immersive places, uh, we're now going to go over to Hogsmeade because it's nine o'clock and the rest of the other side's open, so. We're gonna take the Hogwarts Express. All right, so if you guys are gonna come here to Universal or to Islands of Adventure, because now we're in Hogsmeade and Hogsmeade is actually in Islands of Adventure. If you're trying to debate on which one to actually do, maybe you are getting like a one day and not a park hopper or whatever, I actually would suggest going to, to Universal Studios, getting to see Diagon Alley. I think it's a little bit more immersive than what Hogsmeade is here. Just my personal opinion. Plus, the Dueling Dragons, which is being uh, remodeled into uh, Hagrid's coaster, is down and it's not up. So uh, you're down on attraction. Even though you can ride the Forbidden Journey, which is a great ride, don't get me wrong. Escape from Gringotts is really cool. Plus, Diagon Alley is just an amazing place. We're actually just gonna go and walk around Islands of Adventure. I think we're gonna try to do a loop and just see what we can do and see what the lines are like. So it's a Sunday morning and yeah, hopefully it's not crazy busy. So here's a quick tip. If you're coming here and you wanna buy a wand, and if you don't get here early, these lines for some of those wand shops actually get super, super long. Uh, you could be waiting as long as like, 45 minutes just to buy a wand. Now, if you want that experience of being able to like walk through the wand shop, go for it. But if you don't, you just want to buy a wand, there are some like little booths uh, outside that actually, they're like wagons basically, and they sell wands right there. So you can skip going inside, obviously, and buy a wand, which is uh, a little bit of a better way to do it. You're not wasting as much time, but just something to keep in mind to save you a little bit of time. If say you only have maybe two days in the park and uh, you're trying to get through and do a bunch of things as fast as possible.
After leaving Hogsmeade, we haven't actually ridden anything because one of the great benefits of being an annual pass holder is that uh, you kind of have the opportunity to just kind of come back at a different time and ride something particularly that you want to ride. So not that the lines have been super long, but like uh, Kong was about 30 minutes. And then of course, if you guys know, I don't really like getting wet. So we skipped Jurassic Park and skipped the other ride that's like right there in the uh, Toon area. And we're now coming into like the comic book section. And I think we might try to ride Spider-Man depending on how long the wait time is. Or uh, we might just do single rider. And of course there's always Hulk, which uh, you can do single rider too. We can't really film on anything, which kind of stinks, but you know, is what it is. Still a cool place. So there's a 45 minute wait outside for standby. So we're actually uh, gonna try a new single rider and hopefully it doesn't take as long. Maybe 10 to 15 minutes, we'll see. But uh, I don't know, I haven't ridden Spider-Man in like forever, so. So we're actually gonna do something that I have never done here at Islands of Adventure before, which is the Poseidon's Fury. I believe this is supposed to be a show. Is that correct? A show? Yeah, like, yeah, sure. Something. <laughs> that's just what, that's what the cast said out front, but uh, I've never done it before, so we're gonna check it out. This is actually a really cool design uh, building right here. So hopefully it's good, I, I don't know. I couldn't tell you, never done it. So we just did the attraction Poseidon's Fury and my first time ever seeing it, Jason did it like 20 years ago. It is an attraction that I should say, I am saying that you should at least see it one time or not, I don't know. I'm really torn on it. It's a really, really cool show building. At the time, like when it first debuted, I'm sure the effects were like top notch, like really great, but it's been like 20 years. As, as an 18 year old who experienced it in 2000, the technology was top notch and was the most amazing thing I had ever seen. But if it hasn't changed since then, it's like, yeah, I don't know. It was kind of, uh, it was funny. The, uh, the, cast, uh, the cast guy that was in there that did it, he was good. But uh, sorry, we can't show you it because they don't allow you to take any photos or video during the, during the show. But cool concept, just universal, just update it. I bet you they will, I guarantee, like in the next couple of years. But as soon as it does get an update, this will be a top notch attraction. Yeah, it's oh, got I'm a sure. Cool idea. I'm sure it will be. One thing I will add is that in that Poseidon's Fury show, there's a huge water tunnel that you actually get to walk through, which is probably one of the coolest effects that I've seen in a really long time, which is saying something because it is super old, but you know, I don't know. I thought it was pretty cool. If you have done Poseidon's Fury, and you're watching this, let me know what you think. Obviously we couldn't show you, so I can't show you what any of the effects are if anything has changed, but just wanna know what your thoughts are if you really enjoyed Poseidon's Fury uh, back in the day. All right, so one of these days, here, probably not today, obviously, but one of these days, Taylor and I are gonna come back and I am going to do our, I'm gonna at least try out for the casting for Fear Factor because I think I could do it. I don't know if you actually get anything other than just like a chance to be like in the show, but I definitely wanna try out for that because I think, I think I could do it. I think it would be really fun. Probably really, really weird, but it'd be fun. So if you guys think that would be a good idea, comment down below and let me know. I don't know if Taylor would be able to record it. I would assume that she can, so. We're going on Men in Black and we can't take anything with us. So I'm gonna leave you here and I'll be back in a little bit. That's dedication. Got everything, everything in there. That was fun. All 
All right, guys, I think that is going to do it for me today. We're going to head out of here, but uh, it's a good first day coming back to Universal. Like I said, we haven't been here in forever, and uh, it was fun. Uh, one thing I got to say is check out the annual pass holder lounge. They don't have free drinks, but sometimes they have free food. I didn't show you anything because we literally stepped inside and left. I'm excited. We haven't done this in forever, and okay. you can expect to see a lot more videos coming from here. We're going to try to learn the place a little bit better than we did last time, and hopefully bring you guys some more good content. Once again, I never know how to end these videos. Ever. Like, at, at all.